Welcome to the 48th tutorial on beginning Java. In the last video we wrote out to a binary file. In this video we're going to write out to a text file. And so let's go ahead and open up NetBeans and you can see here I've typed everything out. Now we're going to use a different class than we did in the last video. I still actually have the code up here. We used uh, two classes, file output stream and object output stream. But to write out a text file is actually a lot easier. And so we're going to use this file writer class. And that's all we need. We don't need any other classes. And so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use a try catch, which is a way to handle an exception if it occurs. And if it occurs, of course, we'll get a system.outprint to say the program failed. But actually, in this video, we're actually going to put some data inside our text file. And so we're going to create a string variable here called text, and that's going to hold the text. And I just typed in text inside the A file. And that's not a good sentence. How about text inside the file? Okay, much better. And then, of course, we're going to create an object off of our file writer class that's provided by Java. And again, we're getting that out of the java.io library. And of course, here is where we are going to create our file, our text file. Now, once we have our object, of course, we can start using the methods from file writer. And so we use the write method and we just put in our variable here that we created up here, which holds this string text. And so that'll write it out and then we just close it. So as you can see, it's a little bit easier to write out a text file. And we'll run this and it ran fine. The try ran fine because we didn't get a catch. There was no system.outprint on the command line here. And so let's go ahead and check the C drive. And there you can see we've got our test.txt. Now if I open this up, there we've got our data, text inside the file. Now let's go back to NetBeans and let's go ahead and close this out. Now I want to point out one thing here. You don't actually have to use a variable here to get text inside the file. We could actually comment that out and you could put in the text right in here. So you would put, uh, you know, we would put quotes. And if we go ahead and run this, and we go back to our file, now you can see we've just got text. So again, that's just a different way you can do that. But let's go ahead and keep it the way we had it. And we'll uncomment this out. In the next tutorial, we'll actually look at how to write out to an XML file, which is another way that you can write out data. See you guys then.